up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim's School of Fishing. Class is in session. Got my purple muscle drink. Ready to do this thing. I'm excited because today we are going to take a look at a knife by Ramon Chavez. I don't have any Chavez knives. I've never handled any Chavez knives. This knife was sent to me by Mike Reese, a good friend and supporter of the channel. So thank you, Mike. I am about wrapped up with the, the knives that Mike sent to me. So I am going to be sending those back to you, my brother. But before we take a look at this knife, just a few quick announcements on the Just the Tip live stream. Tonight, we are going to have Andy Armstrong from Rosecraft Blades back on the show. He's got a new one coming out. It's the Beaver Creek Barlow with the smoky gray bone covers. So we're going to talk about that one. We're going to talk about Blade Show, and we're going to talk about what's coming up for Rosecraft Blades. That's at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. East. It's going to be right here on my channel, so you guys make sure to tune in. Secondly, I've got the 3K giveaway round number eight going on. I just posted that video on Sunday. Entries are going to be open for two weeks. I will pin that video to the end screen, so you guys make sure to go enter for that. Also, channel memberships are up and running. I've got five members already, so thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. If you would like to become a member and support the channel, you can find the link in the channel about section. It is also in the description of this video and my most recent few videos and I will pin that in a comment. Very good knife company did a recent drop. They dropped that walkabout, that great big drop point blade, sold every one of those. He also dropped the brand new model, which is the Adventure Junior. He has sold most of the Adventure Juniors. He's got a few left, so I encourage you to get over there and get one of these Adventure Juniors before they're gone. Over the next two weeks, he's got two more drops coming up. He is dropping the first strike, which is a great big buoy style fighter. I'm going to be doing a video for that one this week to give you guys a first look at it. And then next week, he is dropping the tribute, which is a Kephart bushcraft style knife. That's coming next week. I'm also going to be doing a video for that one this week. So you guys stay tuned for that. So. Today, we're looking at the Chavez Redencion 229 Tonto. So, without further ado, let's get this camera turned around and take a closer look. All right. The Chavez Redencion 229 Tonto. Our overall length on this one is eight and a quarter inches. We've got a three and three quarter inch blade and a four and a half inch handle. Our blade here is a compound ground Tonto blade. We've got a hollow bevel grind. We've got a flat grind up here on the tip and a nice forward swedge beautiful satin finish there on the blade on this side on the flat we've got the Chavez knives logo and on the other side on the flat we've got our blade steel which is bowler m390 this one has thumb stud deployment We've got a nice thick blade stock here and a good distal taper so it comes down to a nice pokey point so this thing is going to excel at piercing and poking tasks and with that flat grind up there that's just going to reinforce that tip and of course with that hollow grind there it is going to be super slicey our handle here is stone washed titanium we've got a t8 pivot screw and that one is a free spinning screw and we've got t8 body screws we've got a titanium backspacer and of course we've got that Chavez clip that everybody's so familiar with. This one is a frame lock and we have a steel insert bar there on the lock. We've got a nice early lockup, I'd say about 30 or 35%. The action on this one is just 
phenomenal. The detent is exceptional, and I really love this style of thumb stud on here. It's not pokey or anything. It's got some nice jimping on the side, so it really works well for me. Uh, we've got a nice cutout there, scalloped cutout to give you access to the thumb studs, and that thing just fires out with authority. I love the acoustics on this one, and it is so snappy and satisfying. This one was... Uh, OEM'd by Riot, so of course the tolerances are dialed in perfectly. Just outstanding action on this one, outstanding acoustics. Chavez is known for big overbuilt knives and this one is no exception. We've got that nice neutral handle shape which I really like because it works for everybody. In the hand, this thing is super comfortable. No hot spots, no warm spots. Everything is chamfered down nicely. There's no pokey parts or sharp edges. Maybe right here at the relief cutout, but that's not bad at all, and I don't feel that at all. We've got some nice big tread style jimping here, which is usually not my favorite, but this is some pretty aggressive jimping. So it provides a good bit of traction for your thumb. And with that four and a half inch handle, it works perfectly for me. My hands are a little bit wider than most dudes. Um, so most guys are gonna be able to get a full four finger grip on this one and I can too. We've got a little bit of a finger choil slash sharpening choil here. Now you can get your finger up in there it's not necessarily the widest finger choil. The other day when I was handling it, I went a little too quickly to get into this finger choil and poked myself there. So just recognize that that's not the widest finger choil in the world. You can get up in there and choke up if you want to. Just be careful because there is an edge there. There is an edge there, Timmy. And it will poke you and it will cut you. Just an awesome overbuilt knife and I can see why this has been so popular in the knife community and why so many people love it and have this knife. Just an exceptional knife. Like I said, I do not have one of these. I don't have any Chavez knives and this is my first time handling one. I do think these are still available out there in a few places. I think maybe Blade HQ still has some. Not sure about that, but you may be able to find some out there somewhere and it is just an awesome knife. So there you go, boys and girls. That is the Chavez Redencion 229 Tonto. Just wanted to share that with you guys today. It is absolutely awesome. Don't forget the Just the Tip live stream with Andy Armstrong tonight here on my channel. Make sure you guys tune in. Also, don't forget about the 3K giveaway going on. Like I said, I am going to pin that to the end screen, so you guys make sure to go and enter for that. Memberships are up and running, so I appreciate your support if you would like to become a member, and thank you to all those that have already become members. As always, I appreciate you for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you have this knife or any Chavez knives or if you've handled it. Let me know what you think about it. I think it's awesome. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click my logo right over there. That's it for this episode of Tim School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.